Mind the gap. No, this isn't an announcement for London Underground. This really is a, a phrase that stuck in my head when I spoke with a client just the other day about uh, the gap that is currently existing between uh, the management team and the, the rest of the business. So let me explain what I mean by that. So the management team, the owner, have gone on a big journey of learning, understanding, uh, challenging themselves, going outside of their comfort zone. So again, that's what coaching effectively does. But what's happening at the moment is because the work's been done there, the gap that then is, is appearing in terms of um, understanding between them and the rest of the team is actually quite obvious now. So where before there wasn't that much of an obvious gap is now. The reason for that being is because as people heighten their level of awareness to maybe what they're really good at or maybe what needs to happen uh, to be different, then all of a sudden the focus is now going on uh, on the business saying, gosh, you know, we, we've got so much work to do and why don't these uh, the rest of the team understand this. The reality is they don't understand it yet because they haven't gone through the same level of growth, if you like, that the management team have. So this is one of the dangers actually of coaching is that if you, if you go on that journey and you will grow, your business will grow, um, but, but your business will grow to the extent of the growth of the team. Now, if you're on that journey yourself without taking the team with you, there is going to be a gap. And actually what that gap will, will do is it'll cause a bit of frustration, probably for both, because the, the team won't understand what it is that you're trying to do, uh, and you won't understand why the team won't do what you want them to do. But actually, if we were to actually narrow that gap, give everyone the same level of understanding or at least exposure to the you know the inspiration that you that you yourself create um, because of the education that you're getting the stuff that you're learning uh, broadens the mind and actually those those two things they are inspiration and mo and uh, education lead yourself to become more motivated so can you imagine whilst you might be the owner or, or leader of a business uh, and you've got that inner motivation to get better, to do well. Imagine actually if you were surrounded by other people uh, in your team who were similarly engaged in that way. How much better would the business be? So key lesson um, from that conversation is beware of the gap, mind the gap and do whatever it takes to close the gap. Give people the exposure to the same learnings that you're going through. Wouldn't it be great to um to have conversations with your team colleagues and and for you to saying ah that's a good perspective i didn't know that i haven't thought about that or thanks for the book recommendation imagine having those kind of responses to interactions with your team now that kind of thing would suggest that those people are growing and learning and offering up different ways of thinking so mind the gap Give your team the training and exposure to training that they deserve because they themselves will get better, your business gets better. There we go. My thought for the day, mind the gap. Until we meet, good luck in closing the gap.